I shed you little horrors? How many times do I have to tell you I do not want balls coming into my garden? Sorry, Mrs. Hodgepodge. Can, can we please have our ball back, Mrs. Hodgepodge? No, you most certainly cannot. Not until you start respecting other people's property. <sighs> oh, honestly. Oh! Grumpy old thing. Bye, Angelina. Oh, uh, 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 uh bye, Mum. <laughs> oh, Angelina. Oh, is that the new Monty the Mouse Detective? Yes, the case of the missing cheese. Oh, Monty's the smartest mouse detective ever. Oh, what's happening? Monty is just about to open the cheese cupboard door. <gasps> what happens next? He walks slowly towards the door. He reaches out to turn the handle. The door swings open. The cheese is gone. He says, Hey, what's going on over there? No, Alice. That's not what Monty says. No, look. Well, Inspector, he was wearing a little green jerkin, a little red pointy hat, and his arm was completely broken. Who could she be talking about? So, we appear to have a garden gnome thief in our midst. A garden gnome thief? But don't you worry, Miss Lily. We'll find the thief, and that gnome will be back in your garden in no time at all. Oh, I really hope not. He was a hideous creature. So why didn't you have him in your garden, Miss Lily? Because Great Uncle Mushnik gave him to me. He also gave me that bird bath. <laughs> oh dear. Maybe the thief will come back for that. Oh, we can only hope. <laughs> well, that's the third garden gnome that's been stolen this week. But I really don't think there's much I can do. Oh, Poor Miss Lily. She must be so upset. If only Monty the Mouse Detective was here, he'd find the thief. Well, Monty the Mouse Detective might not be, but Angelina the Mouse Detective is. Wow. Oh. Investigate. Oh. <laughs> so, what do we do first? Um, uh, 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 we dust for paw prints. Oh. I'll get out the talcum powder. Uh, oh. uh, now, where might there be some paw prints? Uh, on the gate? Elementary, my dear Alice. We have to make sure that no one so much as touches that gate. Um, I don't think we'll be needing the talcum powder after all. Oh, Henry! So, what would Monty do if all the paw prints had been wiped off? He would look for clues, but you need a specially trained eye to find clues. It's something only the most experienced investigators can do. Look what I found, Angela! Henry, you're a genius. This is exactly what a gnome thief would use. All we have to do is find who it belongs to and... Oh, my gardening glove. Thank you, my darlings. I've been looking for it everywhere. Oops. Alice, being a detective is not an easy job. So, what have we got? Well, there are no paw prints and no clues. Hmm. Not very much, then. Oh. Oh, oh! Well, I think that's because the gnomes are coming to life. <laughs> that's silly, Henry. <laughs> I know. Suspects. That's what Monty would do. He'd find suspects. What's a suspect? Someone who acts suspiciously. Oh, like that, Henry. Yes, but they'd have to say something suspicious as well. Ugh, they're nasty red cap things. Spoil everybody's gardens, they do. Garden gnome 
Mums wear little red caps, don't they? Yes, they do. Ah! Captain Miller! He's got gnomes in his bag! He's our suspect! Quick! Follow him! I've only found a couple. Not everyone has them in their garden. Well, let's take them to the bonfire. They're working together! Mm. Captain Miller and Mrs. Pinkpaws. Mm. I can't believe it! <laughs> Absolutely! Come on, let's go! Oh. Got them. Well done. I've started the bonfire. They're all in on it. <gasps> what would Monty do? He would confront them. Oh. You thought you could get away with it, eh? Eh? Huh? Oh. Angelina? You know, it's really not very nice to go around taking people's toadstools. Monty never had to solve the case of the stinky old poisonous toadstools. Well, those three did look very suspicious. Oh, Alice, you're such a... I told you! The gnomes must have come to life and walked off! Oh. Uh, uh, tea time! Uh, oh, come on, Henry. I promised I'd get you home in time for tea. But what about the thief? Uh, oh, sorry, Angelina. Uh, we'll try oh. again tomorrow. Oh. See you! Oh. Wait a minute. Oh, no! The garden gnome thief's in Mrs. Hodgepodge's garden shed! So, what would Monty do now? I know. He'd walk slowly towards the door, he would reach out to turn the handle, and he would catch the thief red-handed. Ah! Ah! Angelina? Mrs. Hodgepodge? Um, I think you'd better come in. Oh, so the garden gnome thief was you? Me? A thief? Angelina, I wasn't stealing the gnomes, I was just smartening them up. I wouldn't have to if people would take care of them properly. Look, they're an absolute disgrace. Oh, well, that's so nice of you, Mrs. Hodgepodge. I can't wait to tell everybody. Don't you dare. I can't have people thinking I'm a nice old lady. They'll be coming round for tea at all hours. <laughs> uh, now, Henry, don't throw it till we get past. Far have you got? Shush. I'm on the last page. Oh, read us what happens next. Monty knows that whoever stole the cheese will return to the scene of the crime. Standing there holding a large packet of cheese biscuits is the thief. Monty said, Hey, what's going on over there? No, Alice. Uh, oh. This is the strangest thing I've ever seen. What thief returned stolen property? <laughs> well, at least he's got both his arms now, Miss Lily. I think I preferred him the way he was before. <laughs> Although, I have to say, next to him, the bird bath looks positively tasteful. <laughs> all the other names are back, and all mended and smartened up. Yeah. The only explanation I've come up with is that uh, they've all come to life and gone off and got some new clothes. <laughs> I told you the gnomes were coming to life. <laughs> I guess you were right all along, Henry. <laughs> <laughs> well.
Well, that's that case closed. But what about the case of the missing cheese? Oh, yes! Well, where was I? It was, um... Mr. Churn, the cheesemaker. But he was so nice. Oh, Henry! Sorry, Mrs. Hodgepodge. Oh, uh, thank you. You young mouselings. Well, Alice, people aren't always what they seem. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Prince. William. What? <gasps> oh. Hold it there, darlings. Nobody move. Oh, that is wonderful news. Well, of course I will. Oh. <laughs> Angelina! Angelina, the baby's arrived! You've got a little sister! <gasps> oh, hooray! Oh, let me see her! Oh, she's so beautiful. Oh, look at her tiny toes. I can't wait to bring her to ballet lessons. And I can take her to school, and she can even share my bedroom. Well, maybe not quite yet. <laughs> We're calling her Polly. Polly? Oh, that's just perfect for her. <laughs> Goochie, goochie, go. <gasps> Dad? Just a moment, Angelina. <clears throat> oh, sorry. Oh, dear. Don't worry, Dad. Ballerinas often don't eat before a performance. <laughs> Can I hold her? Here you are. Gently. She doesn't like me. Of course she does, Angelina. She's just tired. Oh, there, there. Ah. Oh, hello. How's the baby? She's crying. Come along, girls. We're going to be late. But Mum and Dad are taking me. Aren't you? Ah, yes. Um, Angelina, I was meaning to tell you, your mother is very tired. I need to look after her. But it's the end of year show. You always come. I'm sorry, darling, but... Oh. Oh. I'll try to get there later for the prize giving. Oh. Oh, bother. Aren't you happy? Yes, but well, why did the baby have to come today? 